Hey YouTube, it's Bebop307 here and welcome back to Horse Haven. And I have been so busy, so busy breeding and breeding and breeding and breeding like crazy, which is why as you can tell, I'm, I'm pretty much broke, at least in the, uh, the treasure regard, the coin regard, because I'm not doing too badly in diamonds right now. I've actually been doing pretty good with saving up, although we're about to spend a, a little chunk of it because I, oh, you'll see in a second, but I've been trying so hard to like, like to read and read and read and read and get the horses we need in order to get the Gemini. And I've been doing pretty well. We have the Shire. We have our very gentlemanly Shire. Like off camera I realized he was not not just a gentle giant, but a gentle well, a gentlemanly giant. He's so he's so like proper and prim and he has these like he does these little bows and he just acts all I just love him a bit, but we are here in the German Ranch today because this is where one of my um, breeding spots for the Gemini has been. Let's go ahead and I'm gonna zoom out. This is where my breeding spot for the Gemini has been because I've been trying to kind of have at least multiple ranches, although because um, I didn't have all the horses I needed here, it was really expensive to breed with my friend's horses. It is more expensive to breed with your friend's horses, just so you guys know. But, it was actually with that friend's horse that I managed to get the next horse that we need. Unfortunately, there's a little, uh, little bit of a, uh, gosh, what is it, clause, condition, something that kind of messes up, but let's go ahead and let's look at our messages. <gasps> Somebody hired me as a stable hand, thank you! And uh, Mika in Ireland uh, beat us in the... Russian steeple chase and hello Aluia! Oh hey, you're active again. I feel like I haven't seen you in a while. Oh, oh come on. Okay. Okay. Quit horsing around. Poof. Poof. I've been doing very, very good at steeple chases. It's just I've been doing the Australian steeple chase and the Japanese steeple chase because that gives me more money. But you guys, we have an American warm blood. The only thing is, it's it's a male. It's a male American warm blood, which means I'm going to start trying to get a female Shire, which might be easier, and a fe or a female American warm blood. But we are actually going to be skipping this so we can bring the horse out in just a second here. I do want to be able to feed little Nafa, but um, just a little bit. Let's see, how much XP does she actually need to level up? She doesn't need that much XP to level up, and because it's pretty expensive to breed them, I might try doing that first. And then we'll have to sell her because I don't personally really want to work on the Fjord tiers right now. But that was actually something I wanted to ask you guys about. I was wondering, do you have any particular horse breed that you want us to work on the tiers for? Personally, I'm kind of leaning towards the Shires and maybe the Rocky Mountains. Because, one, I love the Shires. They're just so beautiful. I especially love the tier 3. And for the Rocky Mountains, they're just... It's just interesting. I mean, they have, they so far are pretty much my best racing horse, I think. Speaking of which, I do have to introduce you to a new favorite Rocky Mountain of mine. But let's go ahead and let's close this, and we don't have the granola bars to feed her now. So, uh, I want to do that for her though, but also I kind of just, uh, okay. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna, nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope, there we go. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna harvest up everything here. And ugh, farming is so expensive! But I know it's taking money, it's like, why would you waste money on that? And it's because it's actually very important because a lot of the money that I get back is selling all that stuff later. And that's, it, it, it's just good to have it prepared, especially since it helps level creatures up. But oh my goodness, I didn't even mention the decorations, you guys! Here, let me zoom in for you. What do you think? What do you think of this? I personally am really proud of this. I really love where I place the cherry trees and I feel like I feel like a decorator extraordinaire right now, but I tried to incorporate a few more of the flowers and I'm ugh, I wish I could kind of get rid of these trees right now, but I can't spend the money because I have to save so much and spend so much to breed our horses and again really expensive even though I run a ton of steeplechases all the time which is why I'm trying to level up horses more so I can have more horses doing the Japanese steeplechase because that earns me the most money and I have been spending a few diamonds here and there on those just to get a couple more coins but overall I've been kind of 
kind of tame with spending them, which is why we have over 200 of those and not a lot of these. Oh, goodness. Breeding is so expensive, you guys. Ugh. But okay, I, I'm i just so proud of this. I, I'm just so proud of this, but I'll go ahead and I will zoom out. And then we're going to go over to the French Ranch and check out how everybody over here is doing. We actually do have another little foal in the breeding house over here. And that is because... Ugh. I've been trying so hard to breed my horses to get the American Warm Blood, and they had a bigger chance of it, and they didn't get it. Ever. They did give me this adorable little Rocky Mountain right here, who we'll go say hi to in just a second. And I'm not going to be speeding up this horse's, this foal's breeding time or anything, because at the moment I don't really need it. Personally, I don't really need it. Um, let's see how many granola bars I have because I know Quinn wants some and I wanted to give her that. I've been trying to level it, uh, level her up so I could sell her for diamonds. Um, uh, how many does she want? Because I want to... Uh, okay, she wants four. I can't do that, Quinn. I can't do that. But then again, if you're closer to leveling up, you'd be more worth it. Yeah, you're closer to leveling up. So I'm so sorry. I'm <gasps> I have grapes for you? Well, let's go visit Victor. I love the name Victor, by the way. I really like the name Victor. It's just, it, it feels so perfect. But look at him and his, his stunning green eyes. And he's just so chipper and cute. And oh my goodness, when he was a foal, he kept bouncing side to side whenever I gave him pats. I wonder if he'll do it now. But it's so funny, all the animations that you can find just by kind of like clicking on them or giving them pats. Like, it's so cute. It's so cute. Yes, it is, Victor. I'm sorry that you don't like the thought of being called adorable, but you are adorable. You're handsome and beautiful, too. And oh, hello, plane. Thank you for that, plane. Wonderful timing. <laughs> I'm just watching Prissy. Like, um, she's another cat uh, that lives with my family, but she's just kind of sitting behind these blinds and her tail's twitching. So I'm just kind of wondering if there's something out there that's annoying her right now. What is it? What is it, kitty? Oh, she's just moving. Okay, she's just moving to a different sleeping position. But Victor... Oh, you can go on the Japanese steeple chase! Ooh, we should do that! We should go on the Japanese steeple chase, but you guys have also been getting more friend requests, which is awesome and amazing and fabulous. Oh, whoop, whoop, wrong way, wrong way. But I've been getting more friend requests, so I was thinking maybe we could also try taking a look at some ranches. I've also gotten a couple of club invites. But I'm kind of really set on making my own club because I just really, 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 really want to see what funny names I could get. I kind of want to, like, set up my own little, like, um, gosh, badge thingy, my own little symbol. And mostly, mostly I just want to see what funny names I'm going to get. So I'm just kind of sitting here like, I, I want to see. I want to click the randomizer until something just jumps out at me. And I'm like, that's the one. That's the one. I wonder if there's anything with dragons, though, because I like dragons. I really, really like dragons. But all right, we're gonna go ahead. We're gonna go back to the German ranch and as well. Mm -hmm. But I need to. But the honey. But ah. Oh, uh. See, this is what gets me. I feel like I have to be a good farmer because what if I need it someday and then I don't have it because I didn't put it down and maybe I could put it down later, but it'd be so much more convenient to put it down now and so on and so forth. It's annoying. Trust me, it's really annoying. But all right, we met Victor, my playful, playful little Rocky Mountain who. I'm probably going to end up keeping, but um, we do have male Rocky Mountain and a female Rocky Mountain. Which means if we want to work on their tiers, we can. But yeah, if there are any horse tiers of the horses that we currently have, by the way, and you guys want to see me like work up the tiers on that as another fun like side project and we have a ranch dedicated to them, that would be awesome because I, I, as much as I really want to focus on these constellation horses, I also really want to like have these fun little side things that that just kind of help keep the game fresh to us. You know, these side challenges. And one of the biggest goals for myself is working up the tiers. Speaking of which, I'm gonna have to check the Pure Breeder Society and see what they what they've got. It's just so hard to do those because considering the fact that I'm so <gasps> oh, what's the banana butts! Oh my gosh, Nafa! Wait no, Nafa, I'm sorry, I'll show oh I can't believe I totally forgot! Oh my word, I'm such a dingus. Okay, I'll show you guys in a second. Let's go ahead and feed Nafa. Here you go. Here you go. Um, we'll deal with Nafa in just a second. This should level her up. Oh, right. Level 7, Nafa. Woo-woo. I wonder what you're going to want to eat next. 
Oh, carrots, huh? Mm. I'll make sure. I'll make sure to let whoever uh, buys you know that you like carrots. But you guys, we have the mini mine. Well, not the mini mine. Sorry, the mine. How could I have forgotten? We have the mine, which means we can get gemstones and coins, and eventually we'll have the mini mine, which I think we'll unlock very soon, because as you guys can see, I'm almost level 23. I've been doing pretty well with getting on every day, feeding my horses a bunch, and trying to do as many steeplechases as I can, although sometimes it does get a bit tiring to try and do that, but in the end, it's always worth it, because of all the decorations you get to do, and just being able to slowly build up your ranches into these fabulous, magical places. It's really fun to kind of like imagine people visiting them too and it's just like a holiday spot. People come here to see the beautiful rose garden around where the the expectant mothers uh, run around and graze. And it's just, it's really a fun thought. But alright Napa, we are going to have to say goodbye and I really like her eye color because like the, uh, the kind of like shadow area around her eyes makes it look really like prominent and pretty and like spunky and it's just kind of kind of sad to see her go but um, of the horses that we have I wasn't really interested in the tears for the fjords but I wouldn't mind trying for them if you guys really really want me to but we're gonna go ahead and sell Nafa I'm so sorry goodbye Nafa oh ooh, that was not fun this makes me think of the time where I was going to try like beforehand and I'm so glad I didn't because we needed him to help get the Gemini but I was going to try and sell sea light because I was just I he was level 10 he was with diamonds I needed diamonds and I just I couldn't I couldn't I saw him and I was about to click the sell button and, I, and my heart nearly broke I just couldn't I couldn't sell him and I'm never selling Dillas by the way but oh this is gonna be painful but we're skipping Ooh, and we're bringing him out but out if you guys have a better name for him, please let me know because Yakub is a little weird to say. And he wants grass! Oh, you precious little thing. Precious little thing. You can want something really, really worth a lot of experience too, you know, because I got a lot of this cherry feed and some grape feed too. Oh, that stuff is delicious. Speaking of which, there are some upgrades I ought to show you guys on the Montana Ranch. Oh my goodness, it's all so busy. I want to visit a ranch. I want to make sure we visit a ranch. But, like, I also want to try to level up our little American warm blood so we can start doing some breeding. But, um, oh my word. You're so cute! I actually want to look at the tears for him now. Yeah, I think I'll do that. Let's go ahead and feed him some corn and then, oh, but what will he want next? Are you sure you don't want something like, you know, the orange feed? Because I, I have some orange feed. I got some orange feed cooking right now, you know, if you want. Apples is cool too. I like apples. I really do like apples. I personally like mangoes the best though. What is your guys' favorite fruit? I'm asking a lot of questions of you. Like, I'm asking you guys a lot of questions today. What tier should we aim for? What name should I give the foal? What's your favorite fruit? To be fair, these are all very important questions. I- Okay, this is it. This is it, okay? This is, this is it. But then I need to go and I need to check out things and I need to see what's in the Horsepedia. Because I want to see what tiers you guys have. Definitely want to do the Shires eventually though, because I really do like how the Shires look, especially the tier 3s. Especially the tier 3s. And I don't know if there's a tier 4 for the Shires yet, but if we were able to kind of aim for that- Nope, nope, nope. Nope, mm -mm. Mm -mm. I want to look at the Horsepedia. Horsepedia, save me, quick, quick, before he- before, Okay, hoo hoo hoo, that was close. Alright, so we have the American Indian. Do we still have one? We do still have one. Um, let's see. Let's see. I have the Norman, the Ardennes, Gelderland. Uh, ooh, Gelderlands are pretty. Um, I want to work on the American Warmblood. There's the Dutch Warmblood. Is the American Warmblood, like, way down here somewhere? Did I? Oh, it is! What do you know? Yep, okay, we got our American Warmblood. Okay, so this is the, um... There's like hardly any difference. Okay. Is the coat pattern different? Because they look almost completely the same. So I'm not sure about American Warmbloods anymore. Oh, you know what? We should look around our friends' ranches and see if they have any female shires. 
That would be so useful. If you guys, like, if you play with me and you have a female Shire, please. Okay, so many questions, I know, but, like, let me know because that would be amazing. It would give us an immediate chance at having the, um, da -da -da -da, Gemini. And not to mention that if we didn't get the Gemini, but we happen to get either a female Shire of our own or a female American Wormblood of our own, that would be very cool, too. And I really need to skedaddle. I'm so... Just one level. Why do you want all the low-level things? Yakuo. Yakuo? Uh, Yakuo? Yakuo? Hmm. I think it's Yakuo, right? Yakuo. Yakuo, Yakuo. I think I've mentioned this show before, but have you guys ever watched the Animaniac? Okay, I need to stop with the questions. I've asked so many. I'm sorry. It's just conversationist. I'm a conversationist. Okay, so let's see... Um, Island leveled up recently, so we could go ahead and take a look, but I also kind of want to take a look at Ariana, maybe Andrea? Olivia just visited us. Was she the one that wasn't active for a while, or was that someone else? I don't know. Oh, Kyle, you've leveled up so much! I'm gonna go ahead and visit you, okay? Let's go ahead and check out their ranch and see what they've done. Ooh, I wonder if they decorated at all. It looks like they're in the process of upgrading everything. And hello, sir. Oh, so this was where the other Rocky Mountain was. Oh, I was looking all over for it, but then I just I just got off and gave up. I should have searched all my friends. I'm so sorry, Kyle. I'm so sorry, Kyle. Is it Kyle? Kyle? I keep... Ah, oh, too many questions. Too many questions that I've been asking. But, oh my goodness. You got, you've leveled up fast. You were like level 12 just a, just a few days ago, really. And you have a beautiful little Frisian right here. What's his name? Salim? Salim's a cool name. All right, whoop, let's zoom on out. I like the cherry trees and the placement. I think this is the breeding house, right? I think that's the breeding house, but it looks very nice. It looks very nice, Ken. And let's go ahead and check out another friend's ranch. Um. Uh, let's check out hers. I think I've already seen it, oh, but I also kind of want to check out Ariana. We'll, we'll do both. We'll do both. Um, I may have already visited their ranches, by the way, because I was searching to see if anybody had, like, an American warm blood or not. Oh, it looks like I have- oh my goodness, I love the nab streppers. I know this is a nab strepper because I just- <gasps> Tier 3, oh Grace, you are a stunning horse. A stunning, stunning horse. Just look at you. Oh, whoop, whoop. I want to zoom in. I want to zoom in. Whoop. Oh, my word. That is so beautiful. She is so beautiful, Ellen. I don't know if you watch my videos at all, but she's so beautiful. Wow. That was just kind of stunning. She's stunning. And then you have a beautiful little fjord over here, too. I think this is... Oh, Xenia. Oh, no, it's not a fjord. It looks like a fjord. It's an Arabian. Very beautiful. Um, and who are you? I think you're an I- Oh, American Paint. I get those guys mixed up all the time. Irish Sports and American Paints, I always mix them up. Jackie, very handsome boy. And then we have... Arabian? Okay, this is an Arabian. This is an Arabian. I got I got it right this time. And this looks like a chin chinkatagu Welsh Pony. I, I knew that. It, it was- it looked kind of spotty. I was wondering if it was a tear. Then we have a Conmara Pony. Oh my gosh, so pretty. I like the balloon. I like how you organize everything. It looks so organized and pretty much all of this is upgraded. I'm so jealous. I'm still taking forever to upgrade my stuff, but I'm doing it here and there, you guys. It's just, again, the breeding is so hard. But let's do a little bit of a faster look at the other ranches that she has. And then we're going to go ahead and maybe visit one more house and then probably... Oh, and then I'll show off the... <gasps> no way! <gasps> Oh, dude, what? What? You have the Gemini! A Shire? You have a Shire and a Gemini? Who is your friend? Who is this? Tennessee walking, okay. You have the Gemini? When did you get the Gemini? When did you get the Gemini? Who is you? Who are you? Who are you breeding with? Somebody must have an American warm blood. Please tell me if you have an American warm blood baby. You have the Gemini? I'm so jealous! I want it! 
Actually, I guess the term would be envious, but shh, we won't, we won't talk too detailed about the grammar stuff. But like, holy fl Also, that Tennessee walking is gorgeous, by the way. Just look at that Tennessee walking! Holy flipperdoodles! I love the dark coats, it's just so enchanting to me. And those bright eyes, oh my word. But you have the Gemini! I'm so jealous! <laughs> I'm so jealous! I want it! Uh, let's look at the other ranches. I really hope you get an American warm blood, baby, and that you keep it because I want. Uh, who's this? Who's this? Who are you? Who are you? Huh? Oh. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, Gina. I didn't mean to sound so disappointed. Who's this? A Shetland pony? Alright, I think you guys- I think you're trying to breed up the tears in these guys, if I remember. I didn't even look at the ranch, I got so distracted, I'm sorry. But ooh! Ooh, I like what you're doing so far. These kind of look a bit scary, these feed makers. When they're like, more upgraded, they look a bit intimidating. But I really like this! It's really nice and cozy. I am super jealous, by the way. Just- oh, I'm so jealous! I really want a Gemini! We only have a few days! Okay guys, um, one more quick look at this, and I I don't know if I have enough time to go out and visit another one. I'm tempted to make this episode longer, but maybe I'll just try my best to get a second, like to get another Horse Haven episode out around Tuesday instead. Oh gosh, I can't believe you have a Gemini! Good, good job! Like, wow! Congratulations! That is amazing! But alright, I do want to take a really quick look at Ariana's, but um, maybe just one of her ranches, or two. But probably not the whole thing. I'm sorry, Ariana, but I, I, I just really want to kind of show you guys what I've done on the Montana Ranch. It hasn't been much, but it's a couple of upgrades, and hopefully things will help out. Oh, right, you had the tears! The Gelderlands, okay. I believe this is an American Indian! Ha! I knew it wasn't an Irish sport. The patterns were different. Uh, Gelderman tier 2? Yes, I remember. Hello, Chatterbox. That is an adorable name, by the way. Alright, we have all of these horses, and you actually have a thoroughbred, which I'm kind of jealous of. And you're doing really well with upgrading everything. You have your little statue here. <gasps> that gives me ideas. But I don't have enough derby points, and no, it must stay in the German branch, but I need to get a statue for our little greenhouse garden. I like that you're starting to work with the pathing. Are you gonna do a nice little little mix of it? I like the wildflowers too. Oh gosh, that actually would be really cool. That actually would be really cool doing a mix of it. How nice! And I, but yeah, I like the decoration so far, Ariana. It looks very very nice. All right, one more ranch. I'll go ahead and check the French ranch. And then we'll probably skedaddle on back to our ranches just to check things out. Maybe feed uh, Yakuva just a little bit more. Oh gosh, that is a really pretty, pretty sash thingy. Sat blanket. There we go. Blanket. Saddle blanket. There we go. Sash? Ugh. Hello! <laughs> what a name. Devil? Right. Yeah, what a name. Uh, Irish sports. Very pretty. Level 11. Ooh, you must be a favorite. Oh, you're cute. And then, I know this is a tier 2. I almost said tier 3. It's tier 2. Ah, uh, that does make me want to work up on all of the tiers, though, because I just... It's always so much fun to do that, isn't it? Like, to feel very successful because you managed to, like, make it up the ranks. Not to mention that if there, there's a tier 4 that comes out and it's of the horses that you have already, very satisfying. Uh, I need to get a grand stable for the Montana Ranch. Well, let's go ahead and we're gonna feed Yakov really quick. And don't worry, I'll come back and I'll feed Vanessa, who is our little hackney, by the way, who helped bring us this beautiful baby. And, hmm, let's see, I might try to, I don't think we're gonna level him up, so I think what I'll do is I'll breed my, I'll breed Needle with one of the horses in Montana Ranch. And hopefully we'll find a cheap herring, if not we'll sell some stuff in the storage. And we'll see if we can at least get our own female Shire. Because if we can, then we have the horses that we need for the Gemini, which is really, really important. And I'll feed you a little later, okay, Yakub? I don't think we can level you up. And, uh, 
I'm dragging on too long with this. So let's go, I'll show you guys the update that I did. It's mostly just me working on the feed mills and upgrading them because I need to get the orange feed in order to get another drain jewel, in order to do this, in order to do that. And it's a lot of planning, a lot of strategizing. But don't worry, I am on it. I am all over it and I am working on it. Oh, I can't wait to get our first fantasy horse. That's gonna be so rewarding. But all right, Needle, hello. Oh, whoop, whoop, whoop. Oh, I wanted to give you granola bars, but I think I gave them, yeah, I gave them all away to Nafa as a goodbye, okay. But um, I'm just gonna go ahead and just straight away see if I can breed him with anyone. Uh, I think I have, a, yes, I do have one female. And I think I have enough. I do, just barely. Oh my word, I seriously hope those Shire Genetics are super super strong because I would absolutely love to have a female. Um, let's see. Are you a female? You are! How much is your... 25%? That's a decent chance. And who's this? A Chronicon. Huh. I don't think I'd mind having one of these guys. He looks really pretty, but I'd much prefer the little Shire Lady. Are you gonna be a boy? Yeah, I thought so. Brownie. Interesting name. But alright, let's go ahead and we're gonna root for little Rio right here. Cross your fingers and hope that we get her. Rio, 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 but this is really cheap and a decent chance, so I might start breeding for the female Shire. No! Oh, hi! Okay. Darn it. We tried, you guys, but alright. I think that's going to be it for this episode, and I want to thank you guys so much for watching. I seriously hope you enjoyed it, and if you guys have any uh, ideas or suggestions or answers to the questions, the many questions, any question that I asked in this video, then go ahead and comment them down below because I love reading your comments. But I gotta be bopping on out of here and I will see you guys in the next episode where hopefully we'll have many more surprises and maybe even a Gemini full because I will be breeding behind the scenes. But alright you guys, bye bye